Those of you that have followed Shay for a while, you know that he literally is the person to help you get to that seven figure sales level. So we count it as an honor and a privilege to have him among the ranks of everyone who has spoken today. And so without further ado, we're gonna invite Shay to take the platform. Let's give her a hand, let's give her a hand, let's give her a hand. Let's give her a hand, let's give her a hand. Did she do a good job or what? Yes. Absolutely, she did a good job. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and I'm so excited to be here in Huntsville, Alabama. I mean, I couldn't Woo! think of, oh, that's right, Huntsville. Go until January 1st, 2018. 86 days to go. Now, I couldn't have a better time for to do this because think about where you were back on December 31st, 2016. How excited you were. You had these goals. You were going to do some amazing things. You were going to generate some revenue. And it doesn't matter what happened yesterday. You still got 86 days to make this your best year ever. So today is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. Today is your what? January 1st. Doesn't that feel good to know today is your January 1st? And that the next 86 days could be your best 86 days ever. Now, that's not going to happen for every single one of you out there. But here's the good news. It can happen for you. And imagine how your life could turn around over the next 86 days. And one of the conversations we're entering today is a conversation around how to generate revenue in your business. So my name again is Shay Brown. Our company is Peak Performers Institute. And what we do is we help you automate your business, we help you reduce your labor, and at the end of the day, generate more revenue in your business. And how many of you show hands on generating more revenue? Josh, yeah. we wouldn't be here. Yeah. Not on a day like today, not when it's beautiful outside, but you're here. Because today is your January 1st, and only winners are here, only champions are here, only those folks who believe they have the potential inside of them to perform at a much higher level than whatever level you're performing at now. And that's got to feel good to know you're doing that. Now, we've had an opportunity to work with some of the biggest brands that are out there right now, and we are the number one producers of African-American experts in the country that generate six figures or more, or have what you call six-figure launches. So today, I'm going to step back and I'm going to share with you how you can build a seven-figure sales team. And when you think about that just for a moment, just for a moment, ask yourself, well, how does that work? How is that possible? How do I generate a seven-figure sales team? Now, I know for some of you, you're meeting me for the very first time. And others have seen me, have seen me, have seen me in other places. And that's okay, so I'll take a few minutes to tell you a little about myself and my company, and then I'll go into the two outcomes I have for this. Is that okay? Yeah. So a little about myself. I'm a native Washingtonian. I've only worked for two companies my entire career by the work. I worked for Citibank after undergraduate, and I went to Morgan State University, which is in Baltimore, growing by the way, and I didn't do sales. I didn't do sales. And then after graduate school, I went to Johns Hopkins University, which is also in Baltimore, Maryland. I worked for Verizon for the next nine years. And I didn't do sales there either. I didn't do sales there either. And then back on May 31st, 2004, Verizon gave me the pink slip. Well, they laid me off. They laid me off. They laid me off. Whatever you want to call it. How many of you are related to that, right? Or you know someone who's been laid off, right? And back in 2004, those were very challenging times. And they're still very challenging times today as well. So I decided to do something bold, something different, something adventurous. Decided to go down to Kinko's, had some business cards made up. Next day, I kind of hung my shingle out the door, and I called myself Coach Shay, and I got started, right? And I was excited, just like you. Many of you are in business, you get excited for this is exciting times. And then after 90 days in business, I was tired, I was frustrated, <laughs> I was really struggling to get clients, and in short, I was out of money. And one thing I learned about it is that cash flow, money is not everything, but cash flow solves. So many problems, so many problems. That may not be your story, but that was my story about money. And then at the same time, let me ask this question. How many of you have ever been in love by a show of hands? <laughs> All of us. Let me still have big smiles on your face. <laughs> don't be very be so smiling. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. But imagine if you can for a moment, just for a moment, losing the love of your life twice. So I was going through my second divorce while I'm starting my business. And that's very challenging. That's challenging for anyone that's been in a relationship. It's challenging. 
But then my two sons, they both decide they want to come in and live with me. But, which is normally not how it works, right? Normally that's not how it works. But my son decided they want to live with dad. So now I got two boys, I'm an entrepreneur, two extra miles to feed, no money coming in. And then I did what I don't suggest any of you do, by the way. I went and started, don't look at me, by the way. It's going to really affect my self esteem. I went and took my money out of my 401k, out of pension. <laughs> don't do that. Don't any of you do that. I'm not directly, I'm just saying what I did. I'm not suggesting y'all do that. I know it's not a good thing to do. Because I was going to make this thing work, right? So then I got my passion back. I got excited. I'm like, you know what? We can do this. We can do this. But then nothing happened. No matter how hard I tried. So then one day my sons come downstairs and say, Dad, Dad, guess what? What? I said, What? They said, Someone's taking the car. So I run back upstairs, look out the window. I'm taking the car, and the car is going to the garage. I lied, by the way. I lied. I lied. I'm not suggesting you do that. Don't lie at all. But it was, it was in that moment that I had was called the never again moment, right? Like I was so embarrassed, I was so down, I was like, golly. I was like, hey, never again am I gonna worry about the phone bill cut, get, being cut off, you know? Never again when I worry about having a lie to my sons. Never again when I worry about making sure that I have everything that we need, or never again will one client dictate whether or not I can pay my mortgage, right? You have them, so it was like, and some of y'all know about that, right? Waiting for it to come in, waiting for it to come in, waiting for it to come in. That's not you. It's okay. That might not be your story. But I spent the money some time before it got to the bank account. So that was my story. How many of you have had a never again moment? Right? Never again. Do, do, do me a favor. Do me a favor. If you got a piece of paper, you're taking notes. Just jot this down in notes. Jot this down in notes. Jot down your never again moment. And even with 86 days to go until January 1st, because it is. Today is your what? January, January 1st. There you go. Have a little enthusiasm, have a little power. I mean, 86 days. This is your never again moment. Maybe it's never again when you not be able to send your kids to a school of your choice. Maybe it's never again when you make a decision between what food you're going to buy that works for you and your family. Maybe it's never again when you not be able to take care of a family member that's dependent on you right now. Whatever it is, but just, just take a moment, just take a moment, and just put down a few never again moments. It's not for me, I'm not gonna ask you to say it, but I want you to slow down for a moment, and then we'll speed up. And we'll take a few minutes thinking, because selling is a thinking woman's game. Selling is a thank you man's game. Sounds like playing mental chess, but I'll teach you how to play chess. I would say if your opponent makes this move, you make that move. If your opponent does this, you do that. I would teach you how to do that because what makes a great chess player is really the ability to think. So it'll take a few minutes just thinking. And that's the never again moment. You have it, you have it written down. And so in my never again moment, I, like many of you, when you walk out of here, you're gonna take a look at that. And I was motivated again. Of course, nothing happened. And then I went through bankruptcy, that's kind of tough. And then, after bankruptcy, which is very challenging, I, mean, I know, I know, I know, the life of an entrepreneur is, is, for me, not for you, for me, it's a little tough. And then, I decided I was going to go, and I saw an email from somebody in California that was teaching people how to grow their business. It was a $5,000 course, so I went to my brother to borrow $5,000. Now, he thought it was another get rich scheme because I had taken you know, all the other classes that were out there, I've done a lot of stuff online. I bought it because I wanted to learn. But, he didn't need the money. And so I flew out to California. While I was in California, I was out there with Because I learned that selling really is power. Selling is power. Jot that down in your notes. Selling is power. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Selling is a learned skill. Selling is power. And jot this in your notes. Sales will solve any business problem that you have. If you have a business problem and you generate more revenue, sales will help solve it. I promise you, I promise you. It's not, look, selling is power. And I said, you know what? Selling is the power for me to change my life financially. Selling is the power to create financial wealth. Selling is the power to pay the mortgage. Selling is the power to hire individuals. Selling is the power to have a profitable business right now. Selling is power. On the count of three, just repeat after me, selling is power. One, two, three. Selling is power. Right, one more time, one more time. One, two, three. Selling, selling is power. power. That's right. Selling is power. And it's the power.
empower to live the type of life you want and to work with the, those folks you were called to work with, not the ones that were left at your doorstep, right? Not the ones that were left at your doorstep, the ones you were called with. So I'd like you to do in your notes, in your notes, if you've got your phones, in your notes, write down selling is power, and then write down what selling can do for you right now in your business or right now in your life. Take a moment and just write a list. Selling is power. Maybe to go to the doctor you want to go to. Selling is power to leave a legacy of wealth to future generations. Maybe selling is power to hire the coach or get the resources you need. And maybe selling is power just to turn your life around. Just take a moment. And I just want you to write that down. Selling is power. What is selling the power to do for you? Maybe it's to send your kid to college. Maybe selling the power for you to take the dream vacation you want. Freedom. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe selling is freedom, right? Because really, when you when you got into business, I believe, according to Shane Brown, no one's validating on this yet, but I know one's validating. But according to Shane Brown, I think you only got in business for two reasons or two reasons only anyway. I think the number one reason is you found something you love to do. But purpose and passion will only take you so far. You need structure and you need systems and you need revenue. That's what I'm talking about. Like, so I won't be happy, you won't be crying and all that. But structure and systems. One, you had some exciting thing. And number two, you wanted freedom. Freedom of choice, freedom of your time, just freedom to do whatever you decide to do during the time you're here. We only have so much time. The hourglass is draining on all of us. So we want to enjoy every moment. So selling is power. On count of three. One, two, three. What? Selling. already in there, that's great. If you wrote it down, just, just take a picture, and seven times a day, for the next seven days, I want you to take a look at what you've written down. It's not for me, not for me, not for me, but I want you to take a look at it seven times a day for the next seven days. Now, why do I want you to do that? Why do I want you to do that? Maybe you had this experience. You're driving in your car, and all of a sudden, your favorite song comes on, and you start singing along with the words of the song. And like, when did you ever decide you were going to learn those words? Well, we never. You've never made a conscious that you're going to learn that, right? But it happened. This is what happened for you as well. Selling is the power to do everything you need in your business. And for some of you, since we're here in NASA town, selling is the rocket fuel to take your business from where it is to where you want to go faster with less effort because you don't have another 18 months. You don't have another 36 months. You have 86 days. And here's what I know. Anyone can do anything for a short period of time. So I'm only going to ask you to peak perform for the next 96 day, uh, 86 days because selling is the power to do that. So all you got to do is be focused. Now I'm going to tell you some steps to do. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get into some stuff. I got some stuff I'm going to show you. But now, most folks think I show up to teach them how to sell. But the reality is I show up to give them the power. That's like, gee, I'm your sales trainer. No, no, I'm here to give you the power you need to do everything you need to do in your business. So we do one other thing. Those that wrote it down, they wrote it down and took a picture of it. Because, you know, don't just write things down. Put it in your phone. You may lose that. I can't tell you how many journals I've had over my lifetime. But one thing I know is I have my photos. And I can go find them. Here's what I'm yes, you do. You have an opportunity to text it to me. You can share it. I'm not going to share it with anyone else. You can share it with me. Now, why would you want to do that? Maybe you've heard this before. We'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. Yes. And when you send it to me, I only want you to write two words, two words, two words. Just text, I promise. That's it, I promise. See, a promise to yourself is much higher than I'm going to try or I believe. When you promise you're going to do something with yourself, you hold yourself much more accountable. Of course, I got, I mean, I'm just going to teach a little new linguistic sales in a moment, but you'll do more. So let me give you the, let me give the sale and I'm going to text it to you. And do it now. When's a good time to do it? Now, right? You're going to do it when? Now, now when you do that, my office is going to send you a very special gift, and they're going to take you to a website, Selling is Power, so you can learn your own signature selling style to get your own power. If you can speak in your voice, you can be authentic, and at the end of the day, you can say things faster, easier, with less effort. And some of you might not know your signature selling style. Don't worry, just know we did a whole assessment, just like you take a disassessment, just like the doctor does assessment, and we've broken it down from a psychological perspective so you can learn your primary selling style and speak in your voice. You don't speak like me, 
You don't speak like her, it's really no robot. You be yourself. And maybe you've been in business and you've never done that. But y'all want to still say to yourself, I have no idea. It's okay. That's the benefit of being here. And you may have never been in a conversation like you are with me right now. So I'm glad you're here. That's the benefit of being here. So let me get another text in and then I'll get started. I got sidetracked. But some of you guys want to give you the power. Why is that? One last time. Because I believe, you ever heard any of my trainings? There's only one belief I have. I believe that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And sometimes when there's a deficit on one side, there's a deficit on the other side. So I come to share with you how to get the power just in your bank account, and you figure out all things you want to do on your personal side. So here's the number to text in. Just do it right now. You get your phones out. Text it right now. Don't text it to me later because you didn't have time, because I won't have time either. Because I found out I cannot get a refund on my time. Right, so I only have so much time. You can't get my time back, Cindy. So you don't do it now, I'm not gonna have time. Okay, the number to text is 202. If you're out online, you can do this as well. Yes, you can participate. Don't ask the question. I know you're asking that. Yes, but you see this later. It's on the honor system, okay? It's on the honor system. So you got three minutes to do this. Honor system. I just say honor system, right? Okay, they're gonna go back and rewind it. Okay, the number is 202 270 1662. Again, 202, that's my personal number, 270-1662, and you're going to text an image of your promise, an image, I'm not going to share with anyone, the text the words, I promise. Just put, I promise. Because some of you may need a little bit of accountability. Some of you may just need to learn your signature selling style. And you may take it, no cost, no, it's $997, the assessment is free. If it's free, it's always for me. If it's free, it's for who? Me, that's right, it's for me. And so it's free. One six six two. Text I promise. And then go ahead and put your first name down so we at least we know who you are, okay? Jennifer is the one that's gonna follow up and Jennifer. Um, and then put your last name, so she has that. And then put your email, because she's got to email it to you, right? So she's got to email you what you need. And then make sure you have your best contact number there. Because some of you should going to just text right back to the website, you can go ahead and do it online. And she'll help you get the power that you need in your business to take it to another level. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes or yes? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Selling is what? Power. power. Selling is what? Power. power. Selling is what? Power. power. One, two, three. Power. Selling is power. <laughs> and I know I'm going to put it in. I mean, I'm dancing a bit in the story, but you need one of these. Okay, one, two, three. Selling is power. Yeah, so now we got that out of the way. Now we're back to our regular schedule time. I got excited because I said I thought I'd give a little power. Some of you still text it. It's okay. Put your first name. Put your last name. Put your email. You know what that is. And your phone number. You can do it too. And then now I'm going to go into the two outcomes I have for my time here. My two outcomes. My number one outcome is to provide value. To share with you step by step how you can build your seven-figure sales team. And I'm going to give you the five components you need to build a sales team that's working on your behalf. Five components. How many components did I say? Five. Five. So you're going to hold me accountable to that. So you're going to have five components. So when you leave out of here, my number one outcome is you know how to build your sales team. And I may see you at a future event. And maybe today is all about you. And you're going to build that team. And it's going to feel good. And my second outcome is to ask and answer any questions you may have. And I'm confident we're going to achieve both of those outcomes today. So let me give you the, the first golden nugget for your notes. And it's called the I Sales Approach. And that's how I was when I started as well. So I had to call the person. I had to follow up. I had to actually send the marketing materials. I had to go to the training. And if I didn't do it, it didn't what? Yeah. It didn't get done. That's right. Because I always say, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself, right? Right, right, right. And that's, that's tough. And for some of you right now, when you're in here and you're training and you're improving the quality of your life, your business has come to a complete stop. And that's the I sales approach. But today we're going to teach the we sales approach. And what we means is that while you're sitting here, the team is still working on your behalf. And you're not even there. And that's going to feel really good. Like, I'm here right now. Some of you I've talked to, some of you have talked to members of my team, but what I know is they're running appointments right now, they're answering questions right now, and I'm not there. 
And so we're gonna talk about the we sales approach. Jot this down, you guys. Put this in your notes. Put an ash by So this is a money idea. Success is a team sport. You can only get so far by yourself. And so we're going to focus on having a team approach. Now I'm seeing the world from a salesman, so I was out here talking about sales. There's a lot of teams you need. But I believe that sales will solve any problem. So we'll generate revenue, you can go hire the people you need to hire. You can go get the resources you need to get. Because you need relationships plus resources equal revenue. The three R's, right? Relationships plus revenue, I mean plus uh, resources equal what? Revenue. revenue. And that's where we're going to get. So what I'll do is let me give you the five components you need in the time I have. And I've got some, a bonus to share with you. Is you need to build a seven-figure sales team. I'm going to look at it from two perspectives. Two perspectives. The first perspective is going to be what we call the methodology. And the Peak Performance Institute, we create something called the Evergreen Revenue Model. Right? Which is, how do you do something one time? And you take your labor out of it, but it continues to generate revenue for you. So we're going to look at it from that perspective. What's the methodology that you need? And then on the other perspective, for some of you, we're going to look at what system do you need, right? What system do you need in your business? Because this is not about your labor. I came to give you the power to reduce your labor and take back your time. And if you do that, that's a good feeling by itself. So we're going to look at it from two perspectives. I'll tell you what you need, and then I'll tell you the role. Because I promise to give you, how many did I promise to give you? Five. Five components. Now, if you had to think about it, when you think about one component, what you need right now to build a seven figure sales team. That means they're generating a million dollars or more. Now for some of you, an extra ten thousand dollars a month is cool. An extra twenty thousand dollars is cool. But you know, we're gonna think big and we're gonna do bigger, right? We're gonna think big, but it's possible. Because if someone else has done it, so can you. So I'm gonna give you the five components to build a seven figure sales team. Let me give you component number one. Let me give you component number one, I'll share some nuggets with you. Component number one, you're gonna need is the rub, a sales what? Person. You need a salesperson. Now, sometimes folks say, Shay, I cannot afford a salesperson, right? First, let me give you the methodology, and then I'm gonna share with you step by step how you can, and it doesn't make sense at all, in my belief, to be in business and not have a salesperson. It just makes zero sense. Number one, they work on 100% commission. Jot that down your notes, 100% commission. And the salesperson understands all of your products and services. Just really quickly. Uh, sir, what's your, what's your name? Robert. Okay, Robert, come on up, come on up, come on. Let's give it up for Robert for volunteering. Robert for volunteering, Robert. Thank you so much for volunteering. Okay, so Robert, for the folks in the room and folks that are watching right now and they got all this stuff going on, tell them, uh, tell them your name because they want to know who you are and just tell them what line of business you're in. And then we're going to talk about building a salesperson for your business. Is that what? Is that right? Okay, so I'll give you the mic. You're going to give the mic back, right? Don't, don't be all right. He has two minutes. How much time do you have? Two, two minutes. minutes. Okay, okay. okay my, my experience has told me that. Like, two, two minutes. Okay. Fine. Uh, good morning. My name is Robert McAdory, and I am in the health and fitness industry, and I help um, consult with people getting the, building them a healthier lifestyle. And you're being modest, I mentioned yesterday, you have a, uh, you and your wife have actually a center, right? Soon to be. Soon to be. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Center. You yeah. have them with fitness, right. so they're working out. Right. And nutrition, is that correct? Correct. Okay, so, question. Um, what would be the benefit if you had a salesperson that was generating revenue while you're sitting here today, or your wife was doing what she was doing today? It would help free up my time so I could do what I can do really well. Okay, so if you, they'll, they'll take notes, we're gonna do something real quick, okay. yeah, real quick. So let's say that I'm talking to Robert, and Robert said, I cannot afford a sales team, right? Because some folks listening out there, their first mindset, their first belief system is, oh, I can't afford one, right? right? And I'm gonna share how they cannot afford that damn one, right? Okay, so let's imagine they're working on 100% commission. So let's say, for example, you bring someone aboard, now I get it, you gotta train them, you gotta hire, you gotta recruit, I'll talk about that in a minute, and then I only got so much time. But let's say they bring in an extra twenty thousand dollars. Can you use that twenty thousand dollars? Absolutely. Okay. So they bring in how much? Twenty thousand dollars. Okay. They bring in twenty thousand dollars, and let's say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, Evelyn, right? Dara, Dara. Okay, Evelyn just walked. I was. She's she's from Atlanta, by the way. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll be there uh, um, um, in two weeks, three weeks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm going okay. So back over to you. Back over to you. I'm sorry, I got, I got distracted. Okay. And we're paying them a 20% commission. 
So someone do the math for me. Twenty thousand dollars. You pay off twenty. Not you. You can't answer. You're, you are a financial guy. You can't answer. How much? How much? How much are we paying them? Four thousand. Yeah, four thousand. Four thousand, right? Bro, yeah, that's. You want to call? Why you want to call? Why you want to call? Okay, so dollars minus four thousand dollars gives you how much left over? Okay, so most of you now I don't know y'all are different places, different spaces, different businesses, but most of you have twenty percent profit in whatever you're doing right now to bring in revenue that you don't have anyway, right? That money is going to someone else. Why? Jot this in your notes. Buyers are buying. Sellers are selling, and nothing else matters. So every day, buyers are buying, sellers are selling, and what? Nothing else matters. With or without you, it is happening. Why? Because people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. I don't care about selling anyone anything. I just want you to be in the problem-solving business. And you solve what problem for folks, Robert? Health issues. Right, health issues. Okay, so $20,000. Minus what? Four thousand dollars gives you what? Sixteen thousand dollars. Now, if you had sixteen thousand left over, could that help run the business? Yeah, I can reinvest it. Yeah. You can reinvest. And what would you do with extra sixteen thousand dollars per month? Now, this is going to your bank account month after month after month after month without your labor, and it doesn't exist today. What would you do with extra sixteen thousand? I'm going to sales force. I get another one. All right, all right, all right. I know her name. That's a good one. That's a good one. I get another one, right? I get another one. And so, one of the things I want you to know about a salesperson, component number one, is they understand 100, they get paid 100% what? Commission. Right? And they understand all of your what? Products and services, right? And so, we'll talk about today how you can go out and hire how you can recruit, and how you can actually train your team to be able to do that, and how to pay them. And that's my promise today in a minute. I'll give you something you can text in, and we did a seven-part series. It's just it's my gift to you. No one can make it that far. I don't have so much time. It's my gift. No cost. If it's free, it's for who? Me. If it's free, it's what? Me. So you're going to have to sell it, right? Selling is what? Power. power. Selling the power you need right now to do all the things you want in your life. And, and, and I believe in you. They also know they also need marketing. You need, this. You need all that. But I believe the number one reason that most companies go out of business, according to Shit Brown, no one's valuing us yet. That's not going to be you anymore. That'll no longer be you. Okay, that's component number one. Component number two, to build your seven figure sales team. Component number one was what? What's that again? Sales person. You got that. Number two. Okay, good. You're doing good. Sales affiliate. Sales affiliate. Sales affiliate. Now, the sales affiliate is a lot different than the salesperson. And I want you to listen very carefully this one because the sales affiliate, they're main, they only know one or two of your products. Only one or two of your products. That's it. They're only in it for the money. So they're out and they bring in traffic where you're not. They're in networks you're not in. They're in communities you're not in because the product or service you offer is a bridge to what they're doing as well. And so a sales affiliate, they only get paid when they bring in what? Revenue. And so it would make sense right now if you're not running a sales affiliate model, I'm going to give you a system to do it. A system, not our system, but some of you are thinking, oh gosh, man, I got, now I have to give them all my marketing material. How am I going to do that? Uh, how am I going to track the money that comes in? Now I got to pay them. That's being a business, by the way. Now I got to pay them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then if there's a refund, what? Bring in. And we're only in it for the money. They're only in it for the money. So let me give you a system. It's called Lead Dino. I think it's up here. Let me see. I'm looking backwards. Okay, that's how to recruit. Oh, that's not got it. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, so really, really. Get paid a percentage of deals they close. That's really good. They did a good job. Um, so they only understand one or two products. Lead Dino. Lead Dino is a software. Do all that you need to do to manage your sales affiliates. So some of us, I know when I started, I was talking to people, and I'll tell you about one of our clients, Karen, and I was talking to people, and they wanted to help, and we were, they wanted to partner, and we're going to do
someone that was out there right now probably could be a good fit for what you do. Maybe you focus on nutrition. And as they get a percentage of, but those are interested in getting paid for referring people to you, it happens every single day, so why not do it for your business? So couldn't Robert have a sales affiliate team that's out there right now? Who would be a good power partner for Robert who is in the health business, he's in the fitness business, him and his wife, and they train other folks? Who would be a good power partner? Anyone want to take a guess? Or a shot? Huh? A nutritionist. A nutritionist. So you can, now you can go to Google, it's free. You can find nutritionists within a 90 mile radius of where you are. It would cost you absolutely nothing. You could also work with other entrepreneurs that are out there. They can refer their clients. You could work with life coaches. There's a number of folks who we'll come back to that that you can work with, but it makes sense to have a, what, a sales run, affiliate team is out there. And what's the software you're gonna use? Lead, Lead Dino. Dino. So now you have the methodology. You know. You know, everything that she do, they just don't do it, just like I didn't do it. But that's not you now. So when you leave here, when you made a promise to yourself, you may not do all five. Because you get what you focus on. And I want you to have sales discipline and just one of these core competencies, and you can start there. So imagine the next 86 days, you decide to have an affiliate. They go out, they bring in revenue, maybe it's a thousand dollars. You're not there. Then you may pay them 20%, 30%, I don't know what process or you have 40 The uh, cupcakes, I think it was cupcakes, and she puts chicken and waffles or whatever, all these cupcakes that are really good. <laughs> and I, she was there. And so I asked the question, I said, uh, you know, do you do it online? And she said, no, it's too complicated and too sharing with me. And I said, well, someone else is doing it online, so I want you to know that, but it may be complicated. But do you, do you do it? someone else is doing it, right? Yeah. They ship cakes, they ship stuff. Every single day, stuff gets shipped. So I said, okay, maybe, you know, I'm thinking a little too far. So I said, do you have any affiliates that are out there? Like, I'm back in Washington, D.C., and you can be paid more for what you know. This was last night when we were sitting at your place. steal your stuff, the confidentiality agreements, and they're there in Washington, D.C., and they're fixing the cupcakes, and we're buying them right there. I look like you. I just need someone to buy with the hidden and all the rest of you. Right? I mean, so I said, now she may be watching, so it's not a good thing or bad thing. I did not say her name, no. but I promise I don't make these stories up. I was there last night sitting right there, and I said, well, I'm just a sales guy, right? I mean, that's just what I do. I make people money. We are the revenue team. what you're doing and have someone transcribe it and you have people affiliates that are all over so one of them likes to bake so one of them likes to cook and it could work i said we do a big event and we bring folks in and spend twenty five thousand dollars at a least been our thing at our stream business makeover that are sitting right there and we bring in all funky type of stuff in there to them so they could have all that stuff because they said we have that experience <laughs> so, no, seriously, I'm being serious. And so we bring in these little things. And I was this serious. I could have spent the money on it, whatever it was. I, I would have bought it. But she couldn't sell it to me. So I said, hmm, hmm, maybe we need to talk to her, right? Because maybe we can own the rights. And I don't know, I'll talk to you about that. And then we'll just go do it and pay her some money, right? But we own it. We're on the master. That's what we do. We're like Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. We just, we just all, all we do is produce the expert. So I'm okay with her singing and going and cooking. No, my name ain't got to be anywhere. As long as my name goes in my bank account, I'm the affiliate. If I own 90% of it, no big deal. I mean, I'll go find some folks, somebody can cook in their kitchen, someone that got laid off, someone that has a belief that they want to help someone else. We can do that. So I'm dragging it on, but let me let me come back because I'm joking. In all seriousness, get a sales affiliate. But I'm very serious. I had that conversation last night, and there's someone that you can partner with is out there right now. Lead Dino is a cloud based. Don't worry about all this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The folks that are here today, I'm going to send you the presentation. Remind me to do it at the end. You, you can take notes and all that, but I mean, you know, you, you don't want to do all this. It's too much work. Okay, sales affiliate. So, number one is what? Sales person. So, some of you making a commitment right now that someone else is going to be a sales person. Love the lemonade idea, you know? Someone, can, someone else could be there and sell lemonade, passing it back along in multiple places, multiple times. And, of course, make, make sure.
Yeah. Those are things happening. And it Just works. send everybody to me, Shay. Just send everybody, okay, okay. <laughs> Tanya Moore was back in the back. So, you know, if you're out there right now, you're like, I want to make sure my, my, my intellectual rights are, 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 are secure. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure I'm doing it right. And I do want, oh, so I do want a sales affiliate, but I also want to make sure I'm not competing against myself. Mm -hmm. And awesome. I'm going to train them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach them. And I'm going to certify them in what I do so it goes wherever it is. So late last night, you can have someone paying 10 grand to be certified to sell these cakes and do what you do because you got all the stuff going on. And people are buying it right here in Huntsville. And Huntsville's another place that eats across the country. And so she has to protect her stuff. Okay, number two, number three, is sales ambassador. So number one was a salesperson. They work 100% on States of America, and if some of you are watching all over the world, but still the greatest country because we're able to do that. Capitalism still works here in the United States, so I wouldn't be here today. Number three is we need sales ambassadors. Sales ambassadors. Now, what's the difference between a sales ambassador and a sales affiliate? The sales ambassador is not in it for the money. That's right. The sales ambassador is not in it for the money. The sales ambassador is only in it for two reasons and two reasons only. I'm telling you how we help companies and individuals across the country really build a team. <coughs> They're in it for rewards and recognition. The rewards and recognition. They want to be recognized. Yeah. And so these are typically members of your tribe. They're folks that you might be mentoring. They're folks that are already in your circle, but you never gave them a title. You never gave them a home. You never had them in a I believe you get a little bit better. So what if you had sales ambassadors that were out there? Now, what does the sales ambassador want? I'm gonna give you the software. The sales ambassador wants recognition. So they like to do, let's see, rewards and recognitions. Rewards and recognition. What are the two R's again? Rewards and recognition. That's right, so if I see you at a future event, I say, you know, this person knows something about a sales ambassador. You say, rewards and recognition. That's what you're looking for. Now, what type of rewards maybe they want? Uh, well, you know, you may have a contest. I think that's up here somewhere. Uh, okay, good. You may have a reward system where you're going to reward them for the number of referrals they bring into you, for the number of people that show up at your webinar, for the number of people that show up at your conference call, for the number of introductions they make. And the type of rewards they like is like a, an Apple Watch. A VIP seat is something you're doing. And I have one client that their her ambassadors love really. only 10 to 15 people around the table because they become part of a community. This is your tribe, right? This is your tribe. The tribe comes together for a greater cause other than themselves. Black CEO is not about Shea Brown. It's not about Sherrod. It's not about Ruben West. It's not about the Black CEO Morning Show. It's about every single one of you who are in the tribe, who shared the link, who joined it, who talks about what's going on. So you've got to build your what? Tribe. And every company, every organization, everyone out there needs a tribe. And the question I would ask is, who's in your tribe? Now, we got a fancy word, because you like know, all you like all stuff. So I call them sales ambassadors. <laughs> and so now they have a title. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, by the way. My mom uh, was a pastor. For a reason, it's fine. And so we got to give them a I learned things about the other than that, but ambassadors. And, and what, what I found out, no, you're laughing. Okay, when you leave and, and you're out there, and this was at the lemonade stand, right? And it's, hey, we're looking for other youth to be ambassadors for this lemonade stand and stand up for what she believes in, which is entrepreneurship, doing the right thing, being creative. You can do all that stuff with the marketing team. And all of a sudden, you're going to have all these kids from all over the place joining. Let me tell you about someone named Christian the Truth Jones. Christian the Truth Jones is in Germany. You saw you saw one out there? He would think yeah. he was in London. And one of the things he shared with his mom was there's an opportunity to start a whole youth movement, not because he's that good. He is like the Michael Jackson of the generation. The guy's very charismatic. But we said, that's good, but that don't take so far. What if we put an infrastructure? And what if we build a tribe?
system is called UpViral. Here it is right here, UpViral. Now, UpViral is another cloud-based software. Because someone has to track all this. Someone has to know where they are. Someone has to distribute the information. And I don't want your labor involved. That's why I'm giving you a methodology first, and then I'm giving you a system. You can believe in structures, we believe in systems. You need a methodology, and you need a system. So your labor is not involved. You set up one time, you're never there again. And you have, you have 86 days to do any one of these. 86 days. Sometimes over a 90-day stretch. and some low lows. But I believe for everyone of you in here, the next 90 days will be your best 90 days ever. And the trajectory will be like this, because you've got a running start to January 1st, because today is your January 1st. You're not waiting until January 1st. It happens today, and you can start any one of these areas. Let me give you the other area, other than the girls, you don't need that, is the contest system. I believe the software is called uh, Contest Giraffe. Um, but the purpose of that is so you can run very specific contests. So the person that goes out there and sells the most We're going to do a Facebook Live with them. They get a photo with someone. And so now you can use another system, Contest Draft, to do the things you need to do. And I don't want you to leave here without at least having one of these components. One of these components. Okay, I've given you three components. What was, what was component number one? Salesperson. Salesperson. So everyone seeing you make a commitment before you hire us. Understand one of your products, maybe only one. And then the third one that I want to give you was event with the time they were their location. And there was a young lady there who talked to you at the time, by the way, who has um, created her own software. Mm -hmm. Healthcare thing and follow folks around. And I understand the significance of that because I buried my father back on May 4th of this year. I've never been through the experience before. I'm like, hmm, well, my mom's 71 now, and that sounds pretty cool. And we were just having a conversation. I said, well, after you get everything done with Britannia, you could have other ambassadors that are like in my generation because we're now there. What's going on with mom and what's going on with mommy and all this stuff. And now we can track them and so forth. And you can have ambassadors all over because that's what it's about. You don't have to sell anything. They've gone through the experience and connect with funeral homes and some of them. Your, your organization does a funeral home or something like that. Yeah, you connect with those folks, you will enhance the experience. Okay, mm -hmm. that was last night's sales ambassador, a real example. Okay, back here, number four is digital sales solution, digital sales solution. Now, the digital sales solution is very important because the digital sales solution is really all about the online part. So let me ask you a question if I can. Let me ask you a question. What's the purpose of your sales page? For those of you who have a sales page, what's the purpose of the sales page, do you think? Capture leads. Capture leads. Capture leads. Capture leads. They're experts. They say capture leads. Most of those things is what? To sell. And on their sales page, the biggest challenge they have is they have the price on the sales page. And that's not where you want the price at all. What you want, you think about how much revenue you generate now between your conference calls, your podcast, online, that does not include your labor. Now, most folks have it, right? But they're not generating any revenue. This is And so the golden rule is your sales page is just used to capture information. <coughs> like that's all it is. So they, they put their first name, their last name, their email in, and then they go to a checkout page. And the purpose of the checkout page, that's the golden rule, is to what? Let them see the price, let them see the value, because people will pay today if you help them solve a problem today. <laughs> now you have their information. So now your web person not calling you saying, oh, guess what? You say what? You had 5,000 hits. So well, nobody bought it but you can't follow up with them. There's no secret to follow up. Not any longer. Now they go into your, what, lead capture system. You now can, what, follow up with them, which is really the golden rule. So the digital sales solution is like going to Amazon. When you go to Amazon, if you don't buy the shoes, as soon as you go on Facebook, you see what? Those no shoes. As soon as you go on Google, you see the shoes. So it, 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 it's not that difficult. I mean, we have the same software, but it's called retargeting. And so now the key is, they go to your page, they opt in, they go to the sales page, they buy or they don't buy, but what if you just had a pixel that followed them around the internet? This is what's going on, they have nothing to do with me, I don't make this stuff up. And now, they, every time they pop up, they see your shoes or they see whatever it is you're doing and they're seeing your ads. 
And so now you have a list of folks that are emails. Now you have a list, if you're really good, of uh, text messages or text or mobile numbers. Now you have your online retargeting list that you can target them directly. And then some. Gone are the days just having to look good. Now we're talking about conversion and making it happen. So this is your digital sales solution. Now for some of you, you're like, okay, Shay, send me the slides and then make sure I get the video series that I can go watch myself back here as a second or third or fourth time in much more detail. It's my gift to you. There's no, there's no cost, nothing at all. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna text sales network, sales network. So that Jennifer will know, and I could've used an automated system, but it got a nice intimate group here and I like it. Up close and personal. You can ask whatever questions you want. But are you getting some good stuff, yes or yes? Yes. yes. I just wanna change your view of the world for a moment. And I want to take you to a place where you can get the power that you need without your labor. So it's no longer about how much can I do, it's how much can we do. So text the word sales network to this number, 202-270-1662. It should send you the training, it should send you everything that you need immediately so you can have that in your repertoire. I'll put it there just one last time here, one last time so you have it. Because I want to make sure that you're able to convert online and offline. You're already spending money, why not? Oh, it's 202 1662 If you just got here, you're going to text Sales Network. If you just got here, put your first name. If you did it before, don't do that again. You don't do it again. Put your first name. Just follow the instructions. That's good. Put your last name. That's even better. Good, good, good. Uh, put your email. Put your email. Yeah, your email. Your best email. So we get to you. You got that. Okay. If you just joined, you can do it too. Don't worry. And then put your best contact number. And then you'll get our seven-figure sales team series, no cost to you. You can watch the video. It's a lot more detail on how to hire, how to recruit, how to pay out, and all that kind of stuff. But the time I have, I want to make sure you have that. The last one I'll give you is called a sales cheerleader. And a sales cheerleader is, we know nothing sells like what? Success. Facts tell, stories sell. The biggest challenge most folks have is in their conversations, we're going to call them presentations, very few are telling success stories. I guess some people still do that, but that's no longer you, right? So let me, let me give you a tool that you can use. The tool that you can use on here is called Voice Stack. Voice Stack. Voice Stack is one of the tools you can use. Someone can go online, they can leave an audio recording, put it up on your site, put it on your blog. It does a lot of other stuff. But I want you to have a system for collecting success stories because nothing sells like success. Success stories act as a third-party endorsement or social proofing. And social proof means someone other than you made the point on your behalf. And now the person sees themselves there. And this is another part of your seven-figure sales team because these become the voices, these become the faces, and you can jot this down in your notes. People like people that are just like them. People like people. Parents and made a decision and maybe threw their money up. They spent their time with you, and they want to hear what they have to say. They want to see what they have to say. I don't have a lot of videos and stuff in here because this is more of an educational, here's the information. There's nothing for me to sell. I don't have anything to sell today. I'm just hanging out. But I want you, when your presentation is be to be able to do that faster with less effort. And it does videos and a lot of other stuff. I'm not going to get into it here. For those that text in, you can go through the series and you can see how it all comes together. And then the last piece I'm going to share in the time I have, it's called your directional sales sequencing. Everyone, everyone jot that down in your notes. Directional sales sequencing. Directional sales sequencing. So if you don't have, I'm gonna have this for you so you can keep on track. If, so if you don't have a system for your sales, shame them, you might as well go to Vegas. You got a better chance of winning. And what that means is that when you're talking to people, you're talking to intuition, which is fine, but I believe in systems. I believe in structure, and I believe in sequences, right? There's an order of things that can make it easier for you without you having to sell anyone anything. So let me give you a couple just so you have, a little couple so you have right now, directional sales sequencing. And for some of you, it might be the first time, this is part of our Evergreen Sales Sequence, if you remember, Evergreen Sales Sequence model that we use, which is part of the Evergreen Revenue Model, the Evergreen Revenue Model, it's all about money. Okay, you have your initial sale. 
So many of you already have that, right? Um, who was I having a conversation with? I had a conversation late last night, 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30 in the morning. Because sometimes we, we go to town, Ella knows this because she's hung out with us for a lot of times, a couple years now. Um, and, and we'll go back to the hotel, even today. Some of you are welcome to come over later on and we'll sit down and have a conversation, just talk about business, right? So I'm in the car and she's talking to someone and says, uh, what are y'all doing later? I said, oh, well, I'm up, we were meeting. So we went downstairs about 11.30. We're talking about directional sales sequencing. I didn't use those words, we were just talking. I'm giving y'all the methodology. And I said, okay, you have your initial sale, and what happens after the initial sale? So someone comes in, and maybe they buy a creative system, right? They make the initial purchase, and they're sitting there. Here's what I want you to know. 30% of folks will purchase the upsell. Whatever the next level is, if made at the right time, just the law of averages. You got third. some of you are the same way. Whenever you go to an event, you always get the VIP ticket. This is what you is what you do because you want to be in a separate area. George Frazier, Dr. George C. Frazier, one of our clients, we were listening to him talking to someone, and the guy was asking him, "Should I buy your general mission or should I buy your VIP ticket?" And what did he say? Yeah. That's my best stuff. That's you should be at the VIP. And he told the person, "You're not buying it because it's my best stuff. You're buying it for access to other folks who are going to be there." That's a different conversation. You'll get that on your way home. And so for some, for some folks, you have the initial sale, and then after you have the other stuff, after you have the initial sale, the question is, what's the upsell? Here's the point. You can jot this in your notes. Yes is not a stop sign. It's a green light to take the client's experience to another level. So some folks say, oh, God, yes, this is good. Oh, God, yes. Oh, my gosh, this is good. Oh, good. But I was talking to the person last night, and I said, well, what's the upsell? And it's not upsell. How do you enhance the client's experience after they made that first purchase, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. I use tickets, I'm just trying to be simple here because y'all are all different places. But think about it. Think about what it would be. So we buy them an English, really good, and say, well, take away this, and we have this book that we send to you online. You know, it's only another two dollars. They'll come to your digital product, and it's her explaining in a video what she does. Appreciate you supporting it, and we'll put a percentage over here to a fund for her scholarship. Ten dollars more, five dollars more. Why not? And so every couple of lemonade, there's a potential. I'm not saying do that. I'm, just, I'm not the marketing. I'm just sales. I'm only thinking about revenue. So I, you know, my mind is just wired that way. But but they come in and then they purchase it. And you know she's there. And, you know smiling. You smiling. So and lemonades. Uh, how much is lemonade again? Five dollars. Five dollars. So, so we're all about gal now. I'm not committed. Don't worry about it. When Trevor gets here, hit Trevor up too. So you got two for one. Two for one. Don't let them say we well, didn't shave by it. We can't take it home, but we're gonna donate to somebody. And so, and so there could be an upsell from that, right? And so, what is your upsell? I was with someone last night, we stopped by the place, and I said, you want fries with that shape, right? Yeah. Upsell. What is your upsell? It's possible you're leaving money on the table, conversation after conversation after conversation, because there is no upsell. But here's the real question. What is the downsell? Most salespeople don't know how to deal with objections because they don't know where to go when the client says no. Then what is the down sale from there? Do they buy an aid? Maybe there's some candy sitting there, some mints or something. Well, we'd love you to buy these mints, support what we're doing. Whatever it is, but what is the down sale? And I want you to be thinking through that because it's possible all the money is coming from the initial sale. And it could be an upsell. I buy a package, that's how I'm going to work out. I have a personal trainer, I get it. I go there, and of course, with her, I have to change her mindset a little bit because she likes to do 12 reps, I can do 10, right? And I'm okay with doing 12. It's a shame, we can do two more. We, I mean, we can do two more, we can do two more. Right, so we gotta stop saying we, because we ain't doing nothing. Right? I'm doing it. So I like to say, Shay, the happy entrepreneur, you can do two more. She says, I can't, I'm not doing that. So what, for $105 an hour? I think you can figure that out. So she figured it out, right? But her, her, but her down sale was, if I don't buy this 15 package thing, they always got the four starter kit, and they got the next little kit. So there's a little down sale as well. So I want you all to be thinking. For some of you, it's not applicable. I get it. Some of you have companies and organizations and structures. You can't do that. But for others, like I can do that. I can have a down sale. You don't want this over here, then get this as well. At least ask. And if you're not asking, it's possible you're leaving money on the table. Presentation after presentation after presentation. And then earlier, we were talking about the sales affiliate. What's the cross sale? So now you got an up sale. You got a down sale. And the cross sale is you don't have to be the answer to all of your clients' problems. Sometimes it's just important to be what? A bridge. I'm an Apple guy, right? 
Don't look at me like that. Don't do that. I know that was, we're coming, we're coming back though. We got the X. We're coming back. Slow. The X is like the Android thing, right? They found opening it up, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I'm Apple guy. I have all Apple products. I'm a Mac Pro and this over watch. I'm just, yeah, it's bad. But here's what I know that I know that I know. Whenever I go to the Apple store, they sell products there that they don't manufacture. It's not a bold system, that's not theirs. 40% of the products in the Apple store, they do not make. They are a cross-sell. When you go to the movie theater, what's the only, what's the only product the movie even produces and sells? Yeah, popcorn. popcorn. Everything else is a cross-sell inside of it. So wouldn't it make sense in your business? I mean, some of you are doing this. I'm just trying to, you, know, you got a sales team. We've got to give them products and services to sell. We gotta help them solve as many problems in the market as possible. We gotta help them so they can generate revenue. Wouldn't it make sense to give them an upsell and a downsell and a cross-sell product where we have relationships where maybe on the other side, we are the sales affiliate. Maybe on the other side, we are the ambassador. But at the end of the day, we're still bringing the revenue in to the organization. So now you have a sales team, and now you're going back and what? Bringing in another group. So think about what's your cross-sell. And then the last one that I'll share, and I'm done is the high ticket sales appointment. Yeah. Yeah. Had a conversation last night. I can't make this story up. I really can't. I was minding my business in the back, and I thought I was going to go to sleep, and then the person said something. I said, well, you know, what is your 25? I promise if you don't have the 20,000, no. So I quickly woke up in the car, woke up as fast as I possibly could. This is impossible. This, I cannot possibly be here in Huntsville and ride back home and not share a couple of stories. I just, I just, it's just my mind was going blank. So, you know, it's your company. You can do what you want. You know, the bigger the problem, the more you can offer. And so I shared a couple of stories. And Nicole Roberts Jones, if you're watching, you may know her. Kuzi Eisenberg. Kuzi Ruben West, maybe he's watching as well. But this year, just this year, we talked to him about having a $25,000 solution. He does speaker training. Some of you have seen him on the Black CEO Morning Show. Fantastic guy, a client of ours. And it's not about us. Some people try to take credit for the clients, right? Not us. They have to do the work. But we're a catalyst. We get them there. So we created a $25,000 solution to a problem that existed in the marketplace. Because people will pay you today to help them what? Solve a problem today. And some folks will be on another video, another book. They're like, hey, I want something that this can be done. And as a result, he was able to earn $100,000 at one event. People fill out the forms. And then just last week, I think he did like seventy some thousand dollars Not about us, but having the right product. Or Cheryl Wood, who's one of our clients as well. Great time is over. The reason I tell you that is that we have to get this one concept. And John, this, you know, if you're thinking this now, put it in your notes. Don't chase the money, add value, and the money will come. Don't chase the money, add value, add value. Then you solve a problem and the money will come. And so think about this. Someone buys your initial product. So they come in here and there, they create a sip and they, they buy an initial product. And then they buy an upsell product. Now, wouldn't it make sense to have a conversation with that individual? It's probably worth a one on one conversation to talk about maybe some other things they're looking for. And so the question is what is your high ticket appointment sequence? Now, you can use appointment core, you can use a lot of these to do it online, I'm not get into that, but I don't want you to leave and at least not think about what your high ticket appointment is. Because for some of you, one deal, two deals, three deals like that a month could turn the whole business around. It could make a huge, huge, huge difference. So I close with this one here, which is the Evergreen Sales Sequence. For those folks that text in, I don't make this stuff up, it's one of, it's one of our three sequences. You know, for those folks that texted in earlier, I'm going to send you the evergreen sales sequence so you can kind of know upsell, downsell. We, we put some suggested software and, that you need because we know you need a system to do it. But I want you to be thinking about your evergreen revenue model and how you're going to take that in a loop and go around and around and around. We don't use the funnel where you drop people in and drop them out and then drop them in and drop them out. I want you to be like Apple model. Anywhere you come in Apple model, it's a loop. It's called the evergreen revenue model. And we're going to send this to you. The last exercise I'm going to do is called, what level am I playing at? What level am I playing at? First, let me do a quick recap. We said the five points. What was number one? Sales. What was number two? Sales. Like, what was number three? Sales. That's right. What was number four? Digital. That's good. That's good. That's good. Digital sales. What was number five? Sales. 
Sell of Chile, that's right, sell of Chile. And you also learned that it's selling is what? Power, Power. right? Selling is what? Power. Power. And today is your what? January 1st. That's right, today is your January 1st. You already know that today is my January 1st. You're going to be feeling good. 86 days. We can do anything for a short period of time. So the last exercise we're going to do is called What Level Am I Playing At? So I'm going to say good afternoon. And you say good afternoon back with a little energy and enthusiasm. We'll, we'll try. It's something that I got to go. Because I said no raw, raw. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. That was good. That was feeling good. That was feeling good. We'll do it again. A little more enthusiasm. You even have my permission to smile this time. Okay. <laughs> but one more episode. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good, 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 good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good as I close out. We'll do it one last time. One last time. So this time we'll do a level 10. Now, I don't know what level 10 looks like in Huntsville. I'm able to travel around and sometimes I'll be able to Now I say level 10 means you give it everything you got. Like, Get out the room, Trey! Not you, not you. We don't want to shake any walls. But I want you to have enthusiasm. I want you to act like you depend like if you're self dependent on it. This is your kickoff for the next 86 days because today is your what? January what? First. And selling is what? Power. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon! <laughs> The very first time we did it was level what? Six. The last time was level what? The first time was level what? Six. The last time was level what? Ten. That's right. My question to you is this. The most powerful question I'm going to ask the entire time I'm here. And here it is. Over the last 30 days, as you've been going about your business, uh, what level have you been playing at? It's just for you, not for me. What level are you playing at in time management? What level are you playing at in goal setting? What level you planning in your business? What level you planning at generating revenue or finding people who have a problem? Or what level you planning with your loved ones? I mean, the ones you care the very most about. You see, my belief is you get out of life exactly what you put into it. And all the rewards go to those that play full out. Who determines what level you plan at as human beings? Who makes that determination? It's like we do. That's right, we do. So if you want to produce the best results you've ever produced, you must make yourself do two things. Jot these two things, you know, we're almost done. Jot these two things. Number one, take some new action. Make a decision that today is your day. You're going to draw a line in your sand, and you're going to take some action. Why? Because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. And you will be a person of action. You will have sales discipline, and you will go out there and solve more problems, not with your labor, but using other folks' labor and systems. So number one is If there's ever a time to expand your comfort zone, it's now going into 2018. So maybe technology wasn't your thing, get over it. Uh, expand your comfort zone. Maybe it was, you know, no one does it like me, so I've got to do it, get over it. Uh, my grandmother used to say, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. They'll always find a way to get it done. And so your job now is to get it done. Your job is to do something different, something unique, to actually go out there and know that selling is power. I want you to know that I believe in every single one of you. You're all black CEOs. You're all making a difference. You're not in silos. We're all together. And that's what it's all about, bringing the community of folks together to go out there and make a difference and create business-based wealth. So with that being said, by the way, my name, by the way, is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And we'll make good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless you and God bless Lato uh, Latoya more for what she does. Give her a hand. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. And for stepping out there and doing something bold and crazy. I'll turn it back over to you, Latoya, more. One more time. Give her a hand one more time. One more time. One more time. There you go. Got shoes on there. All right now. All right now. I got my shoes on. I got my shoes on. So, everybody got your